Kia ora from Aotearoa, it's Poppy speaking with the current ninth wave Mayan energy report and this is about staying centred in the storm as frequencies leap to rise above war energies. Um, a little bit late in getting this out but it is a nine day phase and we are well in it and we experience it nonetheless if we are connected with nature then we are making the best of these energies. So this is the peak of the day wave 1, 2, 3 in 12 storm and it is 8 star. A 9 day phase of super high frequency rising so we will all have authentic expression to integrate, balance and harmonise within. And as we accomplish this the balance and harmony of everything becomes more integral. Storm energy is what changes consciousness. Energy is transformed as charged ions flow between cells with new information from cosmic time frequencies. Information is gathered as photonic light at lightning speed is electrically and chemically integrated into our human form. And of course we get these photonic plasma light bursts that are coming from our sun with these amazing flares. So delighted that we had an X-class flare that will greatly change our consciousness. So the light we shine is authentic expression. In the recent past paradigm, a common mindset has been to hide our light, to not shine too bright and to be a part of that inverted world. In fact, there's even people in the world who are not clear and um, haven't detoxed blockages or entities or beings from them that actually come at us and attempt to manipulate us and stop us from shining our authentic expression to be the full light of what we are. So we really just do need to be the full light of what we are. I just had a and a notification that we've just received an M1 flare as we go. I'm sure we're going to keep getting more, but that's just happened. Okay, so it's time to be the full radiance, the boldness and beauty of our authentic self, our authentic soul expressions, and then we will have true harmony and balance. And as frequencies intensify, and energy is storming inside and outside of us, we may stay centered in our hearts. It's like our zero point, strongly grounded with the earth and connected to the heavenly realms too. Neurons can get fired with the extra, <laughs> I mean, neurons get fired intensely, which causes them to get fried with the extra catalyzing energy, causing breakthroughs. But until we go through it, it can feel like an emotional or mental breakdown. Mental breakdowns are needed. They are needed because they are mentalities that are not working anymore. And sometimes they are coming out with lightning intensity. It has to happen in order for our consciousness to upgrade and align with earth and sky. The areas that have had the greatest hold and cause the greatest blockages in our form relate to sexuality and commerce. So this is historically over a long period of time. Uh, commerce was created with rituals that involved torturing, tortured sexuality of innocence, children. These are being transformed and cleansed through human consciousness. Many people are still ignorant and wanting to hold up the financial system that all that was built on. And these changes may be the biggest jolt to many people's consciousness right now. It's actually faith and trust in the divine and sacred ways of nature that allows people to release these blocks and care and compassion for creation because we know that we need to move forward without harm to all of these living souls, living beings, our planet, people, children. So at this time, it's vital that we drink plenty of clean water and eat light, healthy, living food and avoid heavy and dense food. It's a time to self-care and to care well for those in our care. So rest and sleep where possible. Avoid overstimulation of unnecessary external 
best information. In fact, it's actually better to really go inside, right inside into a meditation. You are going into nature. If you are going into yourself, you will come across truth. You will come across the guidance and everything that you need for your life to move forward. You will find out what you need to clear. You will find out. Um, and when you do remove the blockages, all these new things will come into your life and and energies freed up and, and we we can even go into ecstasy and bliss while all this chaotic war energy might still be finishing off its thing so we may feel that there's we may feel all that there's there is without judgment Sorry, I find it a bit hard to get my words out sometimes just with a brain injury, uh, the things that I'm healing um, as I go through the last of my clearing. So trusting in the big shifts of now is necessary. We are shifting with shifts of ages. Flowing like clear water intuitively is all we have time for because thinking things through is generally slow and there's not enough time in these rebirthing frequencies. As we become clear from detoxification at every level, physical, mental, emotional, etc., we become aware of other people's manipulation and that of the whole control system. But instead of reacting and causing more chaos, we may simply be compassionate, make our choice that avoids getting caught in the manipulation or the drama, follow our intuition in the moment and continue to live in a state of grace and that's also being centered in a storm it's time to be our authentic star seed presence from the core of our center the certainty that we have been growing is immune from manipulation of others we don't need approval we don't have to navigate our life around in fact, what I've discovered is that sometimes people that are quite fearful and do live in a life where they do require the approval of others to get around are maybe lying and, and this is a, just a blockage in their system that they need to clear. All of this is about blockages and in, in systems that need clearing. And the clear waters of our being give us clear sight and sensing so we see far beyond the chaos and drama. Our energy fields expand as we freely shine our light and share our love from our purifying beings. Yeah, I'm really delighted that we received a big X solar flare and that we've just received another M class flare. That will shift consciousness greatly. Everything is in motion to generate the energy of change needed to thrive and flourish in a new paradigm. Even though it's super challenging, everything is happening to support our soul journey as our solar system spirals in new places with new life developing and growing through each one of us. Let's shine boldly and confidently from the soul star presence of our being. And as we do, we harmonize together and experience the one verse. Um, this is an intuitive perspective of the ninth wave time frequencies of unity consciousness of the sacred Mayan calendar from the cosmic axis. And these are reliable. They are natural time organic frequencies. You know, they are nature. You are nature. Nature is nature. And that is what is reliable. It's not a screen. It's not second information. It's immediate. It's responding. We have to learn how to go direct to nature again after having been listening to outer news um, for, for many, many years. It was all a big psyop, a massive one. And this is the 123rd ninth wave time wave of 36 solar days since the unity consciousness waves began in the Gregorian year of 2011 in the Kesh, I am another you. And there is a copy of the current day wave on my, mind face, on my Facebook uh, cover page under the name Poppy Joy. Um, also my own missions that you may look at if you want to see um, the energies in a bigger form and get a, a bigger picture of that and just one little side note if you have been fallen into manipulation if you have just get up dust yourself off let go of the grief let go of the shame let go of any of those negative lower density emotions that can come with those things we're all learning and we're all getting over the biggest um 
our biggest traumas and sometimes all of that is involved. So much love to you. Bless you. I love you.